Oh, I guess we're going to call it a video builder's log for the Sky Pup Ultralight. Uh, it's a really neat design. It was designed specifically for a purpose. Not many ultralights are. And in this video, I'm just wanting to kind of show people kind of what's involved. Most, uh, most blueprints are not of the quality that the Sky Pup is. So it's kind of interesting to look at the prints and, and actually compare it to other airplanes. And, and, and there's noticeable differences. I, I, I have seen many blueprints over the years. And I, I got to say that these Sky Pup blueprints are probably one of the best. I had ordered it, uh, I forget what I paid, I think about 70 bucks rings a bell, I, I can't even remember. Um, and I had sent a money order and it took a couple of weeks and it came in this uh, priority mail, folded up and it has a set of drawings and the builder's manual. And what I want to do here is show you the drawings real quick. Uh, real really nicely done professionally drawn the people that designed this were engineers I believe they were from Cessna Corporation I, I'd have to research that a little further I just can't quite remember but um, they just wanted to create a minimal material minimal cost type ultralight that was very fun to fly easy to fly and they definitely achieved it as we go through the plans you can see that the details are pretty nice Everything is clearly explained. And uh, I know a lot of airplanes, they give you a template which shrinks and whatnot, and, and it's hard to actually trace it. And here they give you the actual measurements so you can calculate it out and guarantee that the airfoil is accurate. There's some more of the wing detail. You can go through and you can see here, this is uh, outboard wings. Here's wing attachment. The uh, the Sky Pup is primarily built from foam and wood, and most materials you can, are readily available. You can get them fairly easy. As we kind of work our way through. You can see here's the center section where it attaches to the fuselage, and the wings you can see attach outboard. This is uh, 66 inches, and that's your center section. A little more detail there. And we just keep working through. Really a, really a nice set of blueprints. There's the first drawing of the fuselage. You can see it's starting to give you all the dimensions and whatnot. And as you work your way through, there's the front. There's kind of the nose, I guess you'd call it. And that's the motor mount up here. Here's uh, when they start getting into the engine installation. There's the seat area. Really a, really a nice set of plans. Not too complicated, but what is here is very detailed. There's a landing gear. That's just a big chunk of wood. Really nice and simple. Easy to do. There's uh, the aft fuselage or the tail part. You can see that in there. And here we get into the vertical tail assembly. All, uh, all the measurements are there. Really, really did a nice job with, with these blueprints. rudder bar. Now remember this is a two axis airplane so things are a little simple. A little simpler than most airplanes and which of course means lighter weight. Uh, here's a control system and I think we got one more page. Wing spar and fairly details. And that's it for the prints. Pretty nice. It's a really a handy size and here we have the builder's manual. And it starts out, it just sort of gives you kind of an introduction, goes through like nomenclature and understanding the drawings and what different, different symbols mean. And then it talks about the construction details and just sort of kind of makes it comfortable for the average person to just slowly get involved into the project. And it starts out with the wings. And here's, a, of course, a real critical component where the wings attach to one another. And there's some nice pictures. Uh, the wording is very well done. He's uh, did a really good job of explaining things in the text. Nothing, nothing uh, really left out or really complicated, or nothing that you can't figure out on your own. And it's just a, it's a really nice builder's manual. And keep in mind, most airplanes do not have builder's manuals, so it's kind of nice.
we'll just kind of work our way through. And my goal here is to just keep producing videos and just kind of do a builder's log on my little sky pup. And there's another web, there's a website that's out, uh, a guy named Roger that started, he did a really nice job and it's called mocknun.com and you punch in sky pup, his will come right up, you'll have no problem seeing it. He's a very accomplished sky pup builder and an accomplished pilot. Um, his videos are on YouTube and you can see he did such a wonderful job with his sky pup. Here it shows more details. Kind of just keep working through. I plan on carving my own propeller. I had a have a rare opportunity. I ended up with uh, patterns from a famous propeller builder by the name of Ray Hagee, and I have his patterns. So I'm definitely going to use his patterns and create my own propeller. And it gets into fabric covering. The hinges are really neat. They're fabric hinges. You can see everything is minimal to keep things light. And then it, at the end of the manual, it gets into a little bit about flying the airplane and a, kind of a checklist you run through and uh, explains a little bit. Remember, it's a two-axis machine, so it's completely different than a, a typical airplane. So it's very weather dependent and whatnot. Um, talks a little bit about maintenance and storage. And then there's a materials list at the end, which is pretty nice. And that's it. It's, <clears throat> it's a real, really nice manual. And the prints are really, really well done. I look forward to having people participate with the videos. And uh, I've never built one, so I'm, I'm no expert by, by any stretch of the imagination. And, and what I'm trying to do here is have people participate and offer criticism or words of encouragement or any, any accomplished Sky Pup builders, their input and whatnot. And I think we could really have a lot of fun on YouTube. So... Uh, this is video one and we'll see you with video two.